Hi everyone, my name is Ren from QuickSave Interactive. In this tutorial, we will be discussing logical screen size, positioning, and resizing our elements within the UI editor. As a UI designer or artist, you might be familiar with the challenges that comes with creating UI across different resolutions and devices. The QuickSave Toolkit provides us with a proprietary solution for maintaining position, size, and aspect ratio across all resolutions. This is known as the logical screen size. Logical screen size determines how the pixel size and offsets of our node elements are mapped to the screen. When the device resolution or size matches the logical screen size, that mapping is one-to-one. -one. Now, we have automatic scaling to cater for all resolutions. But, thanks to the logical screen size, we can maintain the position, size, and aspect ratio of our node elements so they are never stretched or located incorrectly. This allows us to create single layouts that are consistent across all resolutions. Let's take a look at the UI editor and how we can set the logical screen size. In our UI editor, we have the settings panel and under layout settings, we have the logical screen size. By default, it is set to 1080 by 1920, a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. This is typical for use when developing UI for mobile applications and games. Let's take a look at how changing the logical screen size affects our view. Here we have the view with our start button. To demonstrate the power of the logical screen size, I'm going to change this to a 16 by 9 resolution. You'll notice that the start button node element maintains its aspect ratio with no stretching and the position is also consistent. Meanwhile, the size of the start button has changed, but this is only because this view is not a one-to-one -one mapping to the logical screen size. If we were to increase the view, you'll see that the node element becomes enlarged as it attempts to map itself to the logical screen size. You'll also notice when I increase or decrease the view, the position and aspect ratio still remains consistent. To further demonstrate the logical screen size, we can change our values to something a little less common, such as 720 by 1440 a 1 by 2 ratio. You'll notice that the aspect ratio of the start button still remains the same, as well as the positioning. And if we were to increase the size of the view, we now have a 1 to 1 pixel mapping, so the start button no longer increases in size. But if we were to decrease the view to a width that is less than 720 pixels, the start button begins to become smaller as it attempts to fit and automatically scale within the view. But thanks to the logical screen size, the aspect ratio of the button and positioning still remains consistent. Logical screen size is very useful for creating consistent layouts but it can also become quite complicated. So it's okay not to understand it at first glance. I encourage you to stick with the 9 by 16 or 16 by 9 aspect ratio depending on your target devices. Our default pixel sizes are also encouraged to be used. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.